Hello. Um, if you're watching this, you probably had the exact same uh, blue screen or green screen of death that I've been dealing with. Um, so I stumbled upon this Reddit thread, which uh, gave me the solution. So I thought I'd put together a quick video to explain um, exactly how you go about fixing it. The TLDR on it is that uh, there's a bad driver for the X input uh, compatible HID device, and you just download the old driver and replace it to fix it. Um, so shoutouts to um, Saimon and uh, More Laws for coming up, posting this, and then coming up with a solution. So essentially, you go here and you download the uh, old driver off of the Microsoft Windows Update Catalog. Download this file and it's a cab file. So when you open it up, uh, you have to extract it and save it somewhere. So I just downloaded it and created a folder in my C drive, called it X input and copied all the files there. You'll see in here that there's an X input dot sys, uh, X input HID dot sys file. Um, so what you need to do is take that file and replace in your Windows uh, system 32 and drivers. So what I did was I navigated to the X input head. I renamed this because you never want to delete this kind of stuff. You'll get the administrator prompt. And then you take the uh, old one, I was gonna say the new one, but you copy that here, do the administrator prompt, and then you will have the, um, the old one in the drivers. Um, another thing that I did just to make sure um, was I uninstalled the device and uh, that actually made it disappear. One thing to make sure is that you have show hidden devices because obviously if you can't boot your system because you'll get the blue screen if you have it connected. Uh, but now when you connect the device, it should show up. And it will be using the older driver. Um, and it won't cause your system to blue screen. So uh, hopefully this helps someone else there on the internet because this was causing me to not be able to game for a little bit. So uh, good luck.